right, so we're day before Memorial Day 2023 and I'm out at the shade structure. I'm about to set up the missing system for this year for my propagated plants. And uh, it's unbelievable that it's 52 degrees in Middle Tennessee one day before Memorial Day. Usually we're well into the 80s. And today it's supposed to be 70 degrees and the low is like 50. So. What does that mean for propagating and misting? Well, it's not been humid enough just yet. Usually we're already seeing the, that kind of weather, but not this year. Today I'm gonna be setting up the system and just getting ready for hopefully some more humid weather and better elements for the propagated plants as we move into the next couple of weeks. I have been already propagating, putting plants in the sand and, and those kind of things, but not yet put mists on them. So uh, just just have not been uh, seeing the kind of weather that we need to see to make that happen. So today I wanna show you how I set up the system that I have. It's not permanent. I wanna get uh, water down to my shade structure permanently. I wanna get electric down there permanently so uh, I can set up the timer system down at the shade structure right now, I kind of have to um, utilize what I got, which is an extension cord, uh, which I put into a little plastic container so it's protected from the weather. And I'm having to run water hoses down to the shade structure itself and those kind of things. And one day I'll probably move to a more permanent setup, but right now this is how I do it. Just wanted to show you. So just to take a look at the initial setup, I have power coming from an extension cord. I have my main water coming from a faucet at the house to a Y. And then I'm going to run my main water that I water my plants with on this one. And I will run the misting system off this side. And then I have little shutoff valves that I'll control some of that with. Then I'll have a leader hose that gets put on this side that'll run to the solenoid. And then this end will be connected to the water supply to the missing system itself. Now I utilize this little plastic container to hold the timer, which is why I need the power. I ran to it and the timer set up and I'll show you how I do that in just a second. But that'll protect this from getting wet. And uh, it worked last year and I believe it's a it's a good temporary setup but like I said I want to get more permanent uh, at some point I don't know when that'll happen but right now this is this is how I do it
so this is it completely set up got my main water wide off with my missing system leader hose my watering hose for just everyday water to the nursery plants and then I've got electricity through a extension cord which I have plugged in uh, about 25 feet away with an outdoor plug-in and then I've got this protected in this plastic container which is the timer so it doesn't get wet and then this powers the solenoid which is ran to my missing system water hose that goes down to the shade structure so again very temporary but this is all fed down to my shade structure and gets tied into the misting system hoses which I'll set up all along in the shade house all around these posts I'll put them up and I'll show you how that's done in just a second this is the missing system I use I got this online and it can be used for many purposes but for me I use it here to mist all my propagated plants which is very important when it comes to propagating uh, I had a lot of success with it last year I think this year uh, I, I, last year I had the hoses about knee height but I think this year I'm going to go about chest height so I can get a larger span in here um, just going to bring it up a little bit so um, what I do I went and bought some of these coaxial staples that I will use to hold up the holes and uh they just go right into this 4x4 four four all the way around. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's get this set up. So also here is the misting system installation. You can get all the instructions. Just a quick overview here. And then you can scan the QR code to get the installation video as well. So one thing I really like about this system is I can replace these nozzles. They're very easy to pull apart. 
so I can take it off of the hose. I can cut this hose wherever I need it. Um, it's very portable and it makes it really easy to get this set up, all these nozzles set up in the right place here for this, uh, for this missing system. So very nice. I'll kind of show you how that works now. So to pull these apart, let's say this fails and this is something that I ordered more of is sometimes these nozzles get clogged up uh, probably due to the hard water here where I'm at but you can replace these nozzles on this and then also so to take this apart you just push this in and the hose comes out and you can cut this to length comes with plenty of extra hose and then to put it back in just do that and it pops right in and it's holds together very well so very portable very flexible and easy to use so and that's how these work so in this case since I moved the system up this year I'm gonna need a little bit more and it's just a little bit more but I had to take this apart and I'll probably have to adjust either add another little nozzle or add more to the system so we'll see how this goes So just as I thought, I'm just a little bit short here. So what I'm gonna do is take this section out here. I'll cut a longer tube so I can reach this better. So at the end of the line here, 
there's these stoppers that you can put in here to stop or you can expand and come on around here I want to leave this side open so I can get through down there I close it off and this doesn't have to be perfect these there's probably I don't know 20 to 30 nozzles about every foot or so and you know if I wanted to add one right here I could cut this add the nozzle and give it more mist so again it's very customizable depending on what your needs are now let's get the timer functioning properly and we'll give it a test so to the timer itself um, i had to get this adapter tied into the solenoid and then tie that and plug it in into the timer itself again i bought all this online i'm not going to show you how to set up the timer um, just because it is a little bit time consuming i will throw a video in the link that shows where i learned how to do this so if you want to understand how to set up the timer you can look at that video and and more details on this entire system this isn't something that i come up with so um, i'll leave that video link in the description for you to visit if you want to see more on setting up the timer so i got this set up as you can see everything is misting out very well you got to adjust these nozzles to where and i still got a little work to do but you got to adjust the nozzles to where you need them but everything i have in here so far is doing real well right here i'll be adding a lot of plants here in the next several weeks over here as well um, right now i got some cypress right there just normal cypress trees Got some purple heart and some flats there. And then got about a thousand of these green giant arborvitaes right there. And I'll be filling more in the middle there over the next few weeks. So this is the beginning of propagating for this year and as the weather gets more and more humid these cuttings will start taking hold in the sand base here and I'll be getting more of this so Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out if you're considering setting up a structure like this. It's really easy to do. Just a little sand, a little shade, some mist, and you'll be well on your way to rooting cuttings this year. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.